So back to this. Yeah, really just uh, continuing on. Um, it seems like from the end of the last part, right, that basically this is basically just going to be an alter to Act 1 mod, which is probably going to end in the MC game collapse. Um, at least from what we've seen, the big thing is we saw it go through the first day in the timeline, with the main difference being it jumped around the other girls' POVs as opposed to stay the MC. And then also, um, they uh, all spent the night at yours, right? So that's the big thing there, right? Again, still have no idea how this correlates to the chapters. And again, the biggest question is how much will the player caricature have an impact or effect on the game, right? But beyond that, right, it's something to where, again, really, who knows? Just the, big, the biggest thing and the big question there is like, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see, right? I mean, we're going through, we're on, I assume there's going to be no choice in this game again. And then on just, we're continuing on day two, chapter two, whatever. Also, yeah, so funny that this is pink. Um, But this is, wait, is this Natsuki? Hold on. I'm, am I an idiot? Is this Natsuki? No, I'm pretty sure this is Monica. Because, again, even here, here's the thing, right? So even with that, right, like the, the monologuing uh, text box would still be uh, green, right? It wouldn't be pink. Again, it, it's just with the way they got the text boxes, there seems to be some, like, glitches or bugs here and there where it is different color from what it should be. Like, this should be green, right? You know, Again, you know, semi warm more green means if it was the first time I'd ever showered. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Um, crane my neck, let myself relax. My thoughts once again became clouded with flicker. Again, this is literally Monica. That's I was so like confused. There's really anything just for enough for her to understand again because the big thing is she's still withholding that information, right? And she, she was always supposed to be so it only be natural. So I've done all those horrible things. She believes that there's no way it was that bad. She's not well, but again, because this here, here's the problem, right. And this, because this can be applied to real life, right? You know, it's a question of transparency and, again, you know, of transparency and the question of, what would you call it? Um, it's a question of transparency and it's a question of sort of trust, right, more so. If you withhold information from people, even if bad, right? A, kind of the assumption and implication is that they won't figure out versus if they just figure out anyway on their own, right? With B, the thing being that, again, you know, it's it's something to where it's like, so that's the first thing, right? You're just assuming that they won't figure out anyway. And then B, it's something to where it's like, you know, again, right? It, it gets more into the nature of like, oh, you know, like just, being honest and upfront with people, right? As opposed to like lying, not even necessarily lying, but withholding the truth, right? Because obviously in real life, you know, there's situations where like you can know like certain information, right? You know, that's obviously not good, right? But, and, and then, you know, it applies to others, right? But again, you ultimately have that choice, right? So it's something to where, again, even in real life, you can end up in situations like these, obviously excluding, you know, the metal kind of bullshit with like the just nature of their reality. But just when it comes to, you know, knowing things and then like having information on people, I have a shampoo and support them in hand, so I gingerly lathering into my hair, taking extra special care. I was about to say, freaking, you're just using your shampoo. Scramble thoughts, you're getting pieces of themselves together. It's last time I finally sorted itself out. Finally, leave me a single answer to my own questions. I really do need her. You need to tell her too, right? It's more while I wash away the dried tears drawn from his trust. It's more the tear to be over. Bitch, just skip to Monday and freaking clap the MC and then we're done, right? Okay, I did not. Hold on, stop. I, I did not fucking read that. <clears throat> Brought my head back up, fish, trying to turn off the water and stepping out. I got a nearby towel and start to. I just smell like, bitch, the fucking towel smells like cinnamon. From myself and hung the towel back up. Self dressed and smiled my reflection. Please with the results. I was about to say, why did, yeah, hold on, why did the music change? Step out of the bathroom, close the door. But it much farther than that. So you heard me most way yawning. She saw me come out of the yard room. Hey, it's like, 
just a typical waking up, you know, okay, the, the character sprites kind of suck, but like, what, like, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, because I thought I was pretty good about, like, waking up and being aware and still like it, and basically being like, you know, kind of like, wake up and be immediately mentally sharp. I used to think that I was good with that, and I was good at that, until, like, I, I would, like, I would, like, type like youtube comments or something or i i would it, it was something with youtube where i would see like a video like i, I first thing i do is i go on my phone and go through my social which is probably why i'm you know not as like on top of that but it's more like i would do that and then but then i would like go out and like not remember anything i've seen so it's like i realized like yeah i'm definitely not as sharp as i thought i was immediately upon waking up but yeah it is something where you know you wake up and you're still a bit out of it, right? I, I, oh my God, this is a hilarious story. I woke up my buddy. He had a 24 hour shift. This, I, I actually hate this dude. He's like, we're still friends, but like, he just can't like, he just can't plan for shit, right? Like, it, it's honestly like, actually like bad, like how, you know, terrible he is. It kind of, you know, planning ahead and looking ahead, right? And kind of, uh, what would you call it? Um... What, what there's a better term for it and kind of i guess like scheduling things right he's just terrible at scheduling so he had a 24-hour shift and this was uh morning to morning right and when i do 24-hour shifts i just immediately crash right uh shift will start at 8 30 end at 8 30 get back to my room and crash from like 9 9 30 to like 3 4 p.m that's what i do and then i force myself to get up at that time but I crash at that point. I'm not going to force myself to stay awake. This man, he like he got back and then we had agreed to we had agreed to do what? Freaking um I think that dinner, right? I, we cuz this was before he had moved out. We had agreed to like go to like a restaurant or something with another one of uh, our buddies, right? And it was at supposed to be at like 6 p.m. I think. Or we we would leave at whatever time. This dude did not go to sleep. He stayed awake, ended up crashing at like 3 p.m. And I had to wake him up at like 5, like 30, 5, 40 to go. And he was so out of it. Like, dude was like, I woke him up and he's like, oh, oh, like he, he thought we had to do something. He's like, oh, uh, what, what, like, like, what do I what do you need to be like? What, what do I need to show up in? Like, what am I supposed to wear? And I'm like, dude, we're going to get dinner. Well, like you suggested, but. Again, you know, completely besides the point, but, you know, that, that's just kind of a funny story, but it's something where it's like, you know, Mr. Cow keep you company. Uh, Freaking Mr. Cow, oh my God. So, yeah, sure. Tried to play it off. Obviously, my efforts were ineffective. See you downstairs for breakfast. What about the rest of them? Looking back. Oh my God, I was going to say, freaking dude, actually, like, the, the way they do the character sprites in this is so good. She eyes line up as she turned and stepped to the bathroom, closing the door behind her. Bitch, Psionica's cannon in this. St stayed by the door. This knew her hum a quiet tune. Stepped to her, turned back to her and began my head clean. Preparation for like, having to face the struggles of the day. They're like, oh, I have to interact with the MC. Uh, well, looking at it, scrapes off my hand. I can change my look at after all this is said and done. Yeah, freaking the, the random ass like bow. It's even, what would you call it? Funny enough, in Act 3, Monica goes over and says like, yeah, basically everyone has their own, you know, style, right? You know, that's how you know it's a fucking video game because people have these, like, whack-ass, like, individual styles with, like, you know, their own uh, appearance and look, right? So, so oh, bro, oh, it's always cinnamon. Had cinnamon, dude. The, okay, to be fair, though, what is it? Like, not even cinnamon, but, like, maple bacon or, like, sweet bacon honestly isn't too bad. Like, if you haven't had it, it's actually pretty good. We're turning to corn legans. Bitches, everyone here? This is really nice. And here, oh, okay, that's because I'm the perfect cook. Okay, so Sayori isn't even cooking. So, wait, yeah, she's in the shower right now. Hey, I hear you over there. Hey, what are you, you going to do about it, huh? It's, oh, this is a different kitchen. I actually like this um background because but I'm, before I'm pretty sure they just used the MC's one. So, it's able to, bro, they're still wearing their normal ass like clothes, right? Don't you got school? You know, freaking. She saw him proud. Now she cut a hand glare. Hard glare. The vegetarian couldn't resist meat. How could she when it's cooked up my meat, bro? I, I forgot that that was a canon thing, right? But dude, it's like, you, here's the thing. You say this as if like, 
unless you live in a big ass house and you're going out of your way to go to the kitchen, right? Like if you just go downstairs, the kitchen's most likely there, right? What would you call it? Um, I okay. So well, a now I live in an apartment. B. In, at home, we currently, my family, we currently live in a one-story house, so we can avoid any Amoy incidents. We can avoid, we, we, <laughs> it's the Amoy meme, right? You can avoid any Amoy incidents living in a one-story house. So we live in a one-story house, so my bedroom is actually pretty far from the kitchen at home. Um, well, now it's like bedroom partial storage because, like, I mainly come back to visit. I don't, like, live, like, I'm not permanently, like, uh, in my home anymore, right? But the big thing there is that, and with this, right, is that the old house we lived in had two stories. In uh, my room, it came out, we went downstairs, and immediate to the left was the kitchen and the dining room, right? Or the kitchen and the uh, living room. So it's like, you know, uh, let's see. Or actually, it was the kitchen and, like, the table. But uh, give it to herself. Audience isn't joining Bitch, is the audience here? Did you make anything not merely? Yeah, no, you're fucking starving. I, <clears throat> dude, a covered plate? That's actually dirty. That's, so, so, her head was swaying side side or two and I couldn't hear. The old freaking covered plate. It's like, oh, we made separate uh food for you, right? Play with... Oh, Bridge, they fucking got their earbuds and are just typing on the console. Um, What would you call it? Uh, Just typing on the console, you know, what they want to hear. Grab plane, sat down, uncovering a reveal place, plate of tote slurry with jam bowl worth in a small plate of pallet. Dude, there's no way you have this much. They woke up at 7 a.m. There's no way you have this much time to make this on a school day. Okay, if it were like a Saturday or Sunday or like any point during the weekend, different story. Zero chance you made this on a school day. When what I would eat go, okay, so I taught, well, now I, okay, so I, I have early morning workouts now, so I'll just have water before then. But then usually what I'll do is after I'll have a protein drink and a protein bar, and then maybe like an energy drink, and then I'd go on, and then I'd eat like lunch and then dinner. So I basically don't really eat breakfast. Um, in college, I talked about, well, when I was dorming, I would just have, you know, dorm meals, right? So at the dining hall, that was a freshman through junior year. Um, <clears throat> again, right? But then senior year, I could I do okay. So I still more work out senior year. What I do is I'd have fruit and then like half an energy drink before, right? The reason I had that versus now is now I don't even really do the morning workouts. I just come back and sleep, right? Actually, bad habit, like terrible habit. Um, but again, you know, then when I'd actually do them, that's what I would have. And then what I would do is I would just have brunch, and that'd usually be like eggs, like toast like fruit, right? That kind of stuff. Uh, nothing too crazy. That'd be my brunch. And then I just kind of snack during the day. And then I'd have like dinner in the evening. But like, you know, it's something to where like in high school, I would literally have like toaster waffles. Like that's, that's what I had. Toaster waffles, maybe some fruit. Like, you know, I wasn't having all this. Yeah, dude, no, on a school day, that's crazy. But my heart is not to get gingerly twist. Bro, just, I... Dude, actual heart heart palpitations, like just looking at coffee gives her fucking, you know. Um, and I'm, what is, I don't even know if she drinks it black. I don't. I, I use a cre like I use cream and sugar. Like I I could drink it black, but for me it's like at that point I'm not even enjoying it. Like it's it's solely for the caffeine at that point. If if I'm ever drinking coffee black, it's solely for the caffeine. Like I'm not enjoying the taste of it. Like I'd always have like a lighter roast with like cream and sugar. Not too much, but just like a like a I don't even want to say like just enough, right? Like a little amount for it to like discolor and then you know actually give it some like sweetness. Thank you. She smirks a little for hand back to work for breakfast magic atop the stove. Dude, yes, cautious sip. It's perfect. It's like it's hot as fuck. Dude, this is like the freaking scene from Breaking Bad where they're making like meth coffee. Like put the cup down, even level of creamer in the mixture. Yeah, I like. Cause, okay, the big thing was, again, use creamer. I wouldn't use milk. Some people use milk. I use, like, actual creamer. Um, and it has to match the flavor. So, like, if I have, like, hazelnut coffee or something, right? That's my dad's favorite flavor. But if I have, like, hazelnut coffee or something, right, I need hazelnut creamer. Like, I'm not going to freaking, like, mix and match, do some weird shit. And then for sugar, I don't use uh, sweetener, like actual like sugar, like raw sugar, right? Like freaking uh, like sugar in the raw is literally the one that brand I need. 
right? Like it's literally just like pure like cane sugar, basically. It's heavenly prayer as it's being slowly phase are treated my thoughts. Looked off because it didn't take long for us to be interrogated. It's like, is everything all right? Just had a freaking like disassociate for a second. So she even eating? Picked up my coffee again. Now it's slowly it's took another sip. I, I'm just thinking about everything that's going on. So can't lie, it's pretty stressful. Not agreement. She circled finger around the rip of her teacup. Her expression changed to that of a thought. It is stressful. It's much quite true. Close your eyes. She wanted to thought. Want to make her feel less stressful. Chipped in a well. Or my now coffee news courage. She's like, my level of confidence. Her coffee is like my fucking energy dreams. Uh, and our ability to get ourselves free of this prison. You and all stress involved. As long as everyone helped me out during this week. Literally just got to recreate act one. Her eyes. Her seriousness. Place with that. But forced smile. Agreed. We're going to kick his ass right out. Dude, literally just. Why can't you just jump him out? Why can't hey hold on? Yeah, why the fuck? Holy shit, that's actually like intimidating as fuck. Like, not even I, I didn't even notice. I just looked at uh okay, I'm like very angry. I'm like, what do you mean you're angry? And then I look at their face, dude. That's actually intimidating as fuck. I would be scared shitless if someone looked like looked at me like that. But again, you know, I, I was gonna say, like, why don't you just kick his ass? Like, there has to be a reason why they can't just like kill him right now, right? They gotta wait till the end of act one. But it's like, dude, like she's freaking like giving them the her the death but also where the fuck's sayori still upstairs right now more quickly we're gonna kick his uh 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 his butt his uh yeah his uh tush <laughs> oh my god so trying to defeat us each other dude that was trainer didn't think you'd be that quick dude that actually like scared me shitless like so a small laugh as you're doing a response if you tense up slightly start turning around and say something just one look from yuri is all it takes She's been a very good person that's doing everything. I'm quite glad. We know because we know they're friends, right? You know, as different as they are. I guess you could say she really brings out a better part of me that I've forgotten about. Because again, we know freaking her diet was atrocious in new eyes, right? Like actually atrocious. She was immediately speaking a bit nervous there. I could tell she seemed more content now. I didn't think Natsuki would be the one to pull that off. It's good though. Let's see. Her eyes widening, her mouth hanging open. He's pretty shocked she didn't spoken so highly of. Because, I mean, you know, this is before everyone, you know, dude, what the, what are those fucking eyes, bro? Stars? You gotta be kidding me. Freaking dude, that's actually crazy. Uh, Chair thousand arrows by Sunra just teleports there. Uh, see, the always enthusiastic girl rush across Natsuki to stand by her. In the process, she nearly knocked her over. Actually fucking, like, burns or something? Like, are you serious? I'm cooking. Yeah, dude, that's why I'm like, Bro, like, actually, like, burn something? It's type of lab. She smiled at the end. She's playing out of us. I have to ask. Your hair. What? What's... Hold on. What's up with her hair? You can start leaving it down. Looks nice when it's not tied up. Oh, because she didn't put on the bow yet. All right, that's what it means. Or the ribbon, whatever. You know, I reached out and brushed in her hair. Her fingers are surprisingly... Dude, why is Natsuki so pissed off? Like, Jesus. You know, it does look really nice like that. I mean, because he, here's the thing. Okay, so... I'm, I'm a guy, right? Male, obviously. You know, dude. Uh, I have really short hair. Like, I keep my hair... Like, right now, I, I have a buzz cut. And that's usually what I do. Like, every, like, third or fourth week, I'll just cut my own hair with, like, a razor on, like, the one setting, right? I could go even lower. I could go, like, a half or just go bare bones with the clippers. But I usually use the one uh, size one guard and go all... Just literally just cut my hair down like that. Because for me, I have curly hair. And if it grew out, it would end up, like, an afro. I could get like a fade, a high top fade would be crazy, but I could, uh, that'd be crazy if I actually did that. Um, again, because I'm, I'm, I'm also like the whitest person I know, but that, that would be crazy if I, if I rocked a high top fade, but I could get like a, a short fade, right? But for me, it's something where it's like, why am I going to go to pay, go to a barber to pay them to cut my hair? You know, if I'm just going to, again, you know, for me, it made no sense. Or if I like, versus like growing up. So I just got my own hair. I know my brother, he has more straighter, like, wavier hair. And it, it doesn't grow out, like, uh, thick like mine. His is more, like, thin and wavy again. So he, he got my uh, mother's hair. I got my dad's hair. So he actually, like, lets it grow out. And he wears it in, like, he, like, it's long as fuck right now. He wears, like, legit, like, a ponytail right now. So... He used to wear a man bun, which was corny, but now it's long enough to the point where he puts it in a ponytail. So that doesn't look too bad. But yeah, the man bun was corny as fuck. But again, so he does that. But like, for like, I, I'll say like, 
again, because I, I feel kind of limited by my own hair, but also I feel like having short hair like I do is just extremely practical. And I, I just prefer it that way, right? But something where, like, let's say if I were a female or had, like, you know, that, um, like, again, you know, and had kind of could do different things with my hair. Honestly, I'd still probably keep it short even if I were a female. I, I, I wouldn't do a pause, right? But I would probably keep my hair, like, let's say, probably like Sayori, just being honest. But it is something to where, like, you know, like, I guess there would always be that thought of, like, growing it out, right? Or, you know, letting it just flow or be wet. But I feel like that'd be, like, so inconvenient to have hair, like, let's say, okay, obviously, Yuri's is a massive fucking exaggeration, right? So some people may have hair going down to, like, their freaking, like, you know, hips, right? You know, waist. But most most people don't, like, but... An upstairs to play before going to the for price school. Thanks for the compliments. So I'm sure what's safe. Now she came step out of her own drives or wine. She took her first bite. It's like it's like pretty tasty. You try wearing it like that after um after she is dealt with. Like well, Yuri's just saying that that's how she wears hair her. Her hair. Funny enough, and I mean I have um Monica's hair down, right? You know, obviously I'm not gonna assume it like looks the same or what they're referring to, right? We don't know unless we change to a different perspective. We just wouldn't see, so see Natsuki, this is the best breakfast I've ever had. But shit, you know, it shook the first bite of a toast. Are you being serious right now? Have you ever tried the eggs? Or how about the bacon? Nope. Literally just uh saying that, right? Eat so fast. Well, not because of she's starving, dude. Like, you know, her dad didn't actually exist. Right? I don't know. Freaking how am I supposed to know? Like you're acting as if I know. Annoyed being interrupted. You're welcome. Now shut you before I take your food. Literally needs it because she uh, malnourished. Uh, again, waste what not to waste. No reason to leave this here. Dog is my new. The jam tastes are fresh. I won't play you a call me uh, to ask Natsuki later. Oh, all right. Oh, I was gonna say, I that'd be really cool if we switched to someone else's POV and then we could see what Monica could have been a uh, let down with, right? Most of our dishes been cleared of food and we're sitting in the sink, soaking with Natsuki's minimal amount of kitchen tools. So there's, dude, there's no way this all happened in the span of 45 minutes. So before leaving to fend for herself with him is Monica. I looked over at Yuri and Natsuki. The two of them appear in words. The old one upstairs without paying mind. Are you sure Sierra can handle this? I don't want her to get hurt by being around him. I'm going to, I'm going to say it like that every time. Just because it's like, it's like, bold. that time it wasn't bolded, but it was, it seems like it bolded every single time. I'm going to give them a blood out Two small returns, they looked at me. I promise, okay? Your small one exited the kitchen to grab her school room. Not scared. Stood there, staring me in the eye. The least breakfast go waste, but not giving Sayori enough help. I'm not about to do this again. Yeah, that's why I'm like, bro, like, there's no way, there's no reason to go this hard on, like, breakfast during the weekday, right? During the school day. It's crazy. So for a way of expressing it different. Because I guess this is, what, what the fuck? All right. Hearing a familiar shuffle, she moves something. Yeah, hold on. Come in. Open the door and poke my head. Say, we're standing by the desk. We're now in open. Because they need to do the poem, right? I smile. Well, yes. Where'd I be without? Walked over and trying to see how my white fall. My perfect fall. I thought I thought they were up to the poem. None of them did their poem. They were wearing one day just for the law. Switched with the ribbon, you know. Tie up. Skin in the mirror. Did my normal key. Positioning the bump. Make it look as perfectly placed as possible. I don't exactly have the hair tie us up. You can say no to that. Yeah, you got like rocks, so... I'm sure I did the same just to Monica. You gotta go, dude. Just pushes her, dude. That's why I'm like, there's no way this was the span of 45 minutes, right? So and looked at without a serious expression. JP my same Prosky. Here I, I, why do I feel so overwhelmed? I'm just going. Want you to be careful. Just want you to be safe, dude. They're treating the MC like he is a fucking like. Avengers level threat. Like they're treating him as if he is like a freaking like bomb or something, right? Like when he's just this like loser neat MC, right? Obviously the player caricature a different story, but like the dude's literally not doing anything. Like he's literally just watching, just as we're watching, right? You know, they're treating the MC as if he's like a galactic level threat or something. I'm just going back, dude. Psionica's canon in this. All right, who's PO? Yuri's interesting. All right, let's see. A quiet room, a quiet day, a quiet life. Dude, Yoshikage. Ha! <laughs> Yoshikage hero moment. Ah, actual serial, serial killer. Now she's going to start going after hands. 
uh, thoughts were in one of the tent my family down. You okay? You seem a bit off. So is this the club or what? Like our class? I don't know. So fine. Thank you for asking. Church right from my palm. Said to Jekyll, I put my pen down, looked over the block. I've already been sitting there for a few minutes. Hold on. Don't we have three room? Yeah, that's why I'm like, bro, none of you did that. Why are you writing no one? You want to mess with Monica's plan? Look up at her, nail my eyes. I was going to wait to tell you since you don't seem to have any patience. <laughs> Damn, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Dude, that's actually crazy. Dude, she like freaking annihilated Natsuki. Then my words, yeah, that's why I was like, dude, like, you, holy shit, you destroyed her. You're like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get rude. I just, Natsuki probably clipped me. It, it's okay, seriously. I know you're just nervous. Kind of like me with my ideas. So that's possibly the numerous negative endings. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm freaking, uh, Natsuki was taking my response to heart. That's why I was like, dude, you annihilated it. We would come up together in the evening with some new poems just so we have something to break up the coin lessons. What the fuck is that reaction? Unlike these poems we're sharing with him, they will be written by us instead of these pre written messes. The 20 word special. Uh, okay, lo okay, the MC is the 20 word special. They actually have decent poems, you know. Uh, do you think it's a good idea? I'm not sure if Monica will like it. She's not before looking at a small pile. I guess one the way I can prove that is because. Only because that that way I can prove I'm a better writer and Paul. Laugh softly, not to pout even more in response. I'll prove that. Just you watch. She walked her deck, sat down at the hall, pen immediately going to town. But the conundrum. You unironically use the word conundrum, but she really just wanted to hang out with it. Almost feels like she's trying to impress me. Down my fifth, a million new inspiration come over me. Fell on my mind. I looked over Nazi, back to my sheets. Took my pen and began to write swiftly on this blank slate, fresh idea. Dude, are we gonna see it? So who is that was too far? The fuck is going on? What are you talking about? You can't just say that as if we know what you're talking about. The joyous sprint here. She spoke loudly. Oh, all right. So she, she, it was literally just she, she was far as fuck away. I thought she was referencing like, oh, the MC or Sayori took something too far, but no, I guess it's just she. Her last class was far away. It was a nice and long run. Go to old steady state zone two cardio. Uh, glance at the two of us. Did I miss anything important? We literally not doing anything. Windward journey. So I shook my head, hoping my let my idea simmer a little more before revealing it. You had a great idea to share with you. I person, damn, that's crazy. It's like bra, like you know, fear of interaction. Spiked up immediately. Or a curious stare. Oh, you're in an idea. Why? Why'd you say that as if she doesn't have ideas? What the fuck? I had a great idea. At least that's what Natsuki to me. Still brought my partially finished poem over to her. Held it out and she took it. She seemed a bit perplexed as she looked down at it. She read over a few times. Something forming in her facial expression. Sure, she was just confused or something else. But I backed him up. He looked away from her. I wish she wasn't going to be angry. It's new. But to my fear, I looked at her. My fears continued to build up. My doubts began to take shape. She's not like, oh, yeah. That's why I'm like, was she even reading it? So, uh, you know, dude, she's literally just reading it. Chill the fuck out. This is amazing. Feeling my body froze. I, I like, I, listen up. I consider myself to be like a good reader, but I have moments to where I just massively fuck up. Like it feels like something in my arm was burning. Away. I grabbed my arm, squeeze it while waiting for an answer. Burn some side quickly. It's a word sunk in. I felt the bolts of shock. What? You think so? Look to me and smile. Same expression as before. The disappointment. You know, not disappointed. Crazy. The word you're right. Your way of presenting yourself portrays everything you are as a person. So that's what I thought about more. She's never seen me right. Yeah, because it's always been the freaking, you know, uh, the. 20 word special, right? So, what was that you want to say? Such so, I mean, this must be good if it's associated with it. Then I crawled back on the skin of my arm, kept my hand away from my arm. Come on, you can do this. Close my eyes. I composed my thoughts and spoke to her. I'd like to, I would like, oh my god, dude, I would like to request that we have official club meetings at uh, say where's house. Every meeting would share new bad poems, poems that aren't just generic, like the ones we're talking to him. Her eyes wanted she listened. She thought about it for a few seconds before denying any approval. Smile soon replaced her curious expression. It's a wonderful idea. We can write poems down and present that when we get home. She looked around the room. Peering to me and thought she knows the clock. We can tell Sarah when she gets here, but I really do like the idea. So you know, help us heavily during a more stressful time. Bro, they're, it's honestly, it's kind of funny to see. They're legit acting as if MC is like this like multi-dimensional threat. Like dude's literally just a loser me. Like I, you know, it's honestly kind of funny. And the freaking player caricature isn't even doing anything. Felt their feelings in my body finally fade away as she said that. I was replaced by that warm, welcoming feeling. I started to experience walk when I was around them. Fears drifted in the back of my mind. Once more, I smiled, satisfied with my success. I turned heel and briskly made her way up to the podium, flipping through a page of her notebook, her blank sheet and going into the talk. 
Leaf blowing in my veins, I turned to my desk. Watch my cut a few more moments, totally looking down with partially written palm. My pen rain continue, and hopefully finish it. Mine's darted down over the grassy plateau, and the drift all is interrupted by the sound of the classroom door opening and closing. This time, but the door was practically slammed shut instead of closing nicely. Frankly, shout, she ran over her. She was frankly certain. The, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, dude. What the fuck? Dude. Dude, that legit, like, they're acting as if the embassy is, like, fucking, like, this, like, great threat. It's honestly hilarious. So, I'm fine. I just want to get your... Sp- dude, that's why I was like, bro, like, dude, it's the same reason why you were, you know, fucked up when you got here. It's just a long-ass, you know, uh, thank you for your concern. So, with the broad smile, she obviously said, Monica, you step back. I was also about to see her expression. What's about the question why? Monica could handle it. Because we know what happened between, obviously, Sayori doesn't. She is somewhat of an idea. But, you know, it, it's something to where, again, right, maybe they have a separate plan that doesn't involve Yuri and Natsuki since they are, they themselves are more fundamentally connected and a part of this, right? Seriously, weren't you saying that you believed in her? Was it that lie? Yeah, it's like, Jesus, you know. It's like, I, I can't fucking breathe. Uh, I'm dying. It's, the one's prideful club presence since I'm Sayori's hug attack. Yes, why would not? Believe in all of us. Your smile brightly and Monica's remark, finally going over and looking up. Him catching their activities. You notice we both have pens and paper on our desk. We write in poems? How intuitive. All th- not, she's not an idiot, dude. Like all things here, we have a new activity to do every night. When my face flushes, I snatch a look over at Natsuki. She would appreciate Yuri C or whatever it's called. Uh, not Yuri is canon. Uh, seems like she might upper valley. Dude, like actually going to die. <laughs> like, you know, uh, Mike Fine Man's calm down. Still with the plan was for the evenings. Get to learn how to make numbers and stuff work. And I get to share poetry. You'd be even more excited. Dude, she kept her from exploring. She got the idea to reduce her excitement by offering to talk to her, learning more about poetry, far better than I was expecting it to. For the quiet sound of not getting into conversations, I snuck a little look. She was smirking at something on her paper. What's on her? Okay, but not I was going to say, what's on her paper? Let's see, as much as I really do get annoyed, I can't help but just. I looked down my paper and gazed at the title. The Fluffy King. Hey, it's Sayori. I'll throw him off for sure. As I stifling a laugh, I watched Monica wrangle Sayori. Sayori wasn't intent on listening. She began explaining a few points. Seriously, and taking as much as she could, all while containing her overloaded excitement. Felt something strange, like somebody was looking at me. My, oh, I thought it was going to be like the MC is like looking through the window. I looked directly at her. She showed clear shock and turned away. Knew what I needed to do. What's up? I can't believe she just fucking said that. Ha! <laughs> okay, that's actually hilarious. This is actually hilarious. Like, dude, I can't believe. This is actually funny as fuck. Not even gonna lie. Uh, can't handle knowing I'm gonna do better than you. Ted up. She looked back at me. Seven oil glare. Thing I was expecting. There was a friendly smile. Competition's very healthy, especially in front of the- Shut the. Oh. Okay, you know. I felt our confusion. Smile remained present. Good luck, though. If you need help, you have to be first time. Damn, freaking, that's fine. You win this round. I'll be back. Turn to my de- freaking Terminator. This will be the most perfect masterpiece. That's not way more badass. I know it, dude. I'm glad I don't talk. Yeah, it's like, damn, that's, whew. Well, the hairs on the back of my neck raised. I looked up. Even further beyond here, staying near my desk. How the fuck? It's like, hold on. What is you saying down? I think that's next to my back to Before laying on a cloud side. Can I sit next to you? Just so we can talk. Once you're done writing, that is. I'm, I'm not done either, so. You're confused. Turn my attention back to my right. Could hear a quad shuffling. You nearly sign a squeak of the desk shifting a bit before hearing her sit down. Focus. Hearing her pen move along the paper. Couldn't help take a quick peek. Holy shit. Just couldn't believe how long it was. That notebook page is used. And then meanwhile, Natsuki is like two sentences. You know. I feel a twinge of jealousy. Is something wrong? As quietly as I glanced up. She appeared to have a genuine look of concern. No. I'm just concentrating really hard. It, again, it's something to wear. Because here, here, here's the thing, right? And this is, like, here, here's the thing. Even though Natsuki is my least favorite character, I do believe her character has the most potential when it comes to kind of, like, exploring her sort of personality and, like, motives as to why she acts the way she does. With a big thing being, again, part, it, it's kind of, I hate to say it, it seems like it's a self-fulfilling, you know, cycle and prophecy, right? Natsuki is naturally thin, you know, tiny and petite, right? Because she's not yours. So she ends up donning kind of this, whether intentionally or unintentionally, 
donning this persona of being like kind of cutesy and like, you know, um, I guess for a more insultive term, you know, fragile, right? And then that ends up because she is insecure about that. Again, it's something to where that just makes it more apparent, right, to others. It, it's her character really, again, I think the problem is and why I don't like her character as much, or more so why she's my least favorite, is I don't think a lot of people like go and look into that sort of side or aspect of her character. I think more people either look into, oh, she's a angry Cinderay, or oh, you know, she's a, you know, cutesy, like cutie pie, right? And she gets beat by her dad. Like, I, I feel like the, the problem is people don't look into more so the insecurity and sort of the self-fulfilling nature of her character. I, I feel like that's more like something that's not really touched upon as much versus like you wouldn't have that for a character like you kind of get it in Sayori with again you know her kind of again adopting this persona um to mask her depression but then that kind of being all that she's really known for again it, it's just something to where again the, th the thing there is I, I don't think you know there's like again I, I wish more you know there'd be more like mods that would like focus on that, right? But again, you know, it, it, it's something to where the big thing there is that's like, yeah, you know, we'll see, right? I And I, I think what that ends up, um, what would you call it, coming down to there is, uh, yeah, you know, particularly compared to like, let's say Yuri, who's the, the character in the bulk is mostly focused on, again, you know, her like, her own like insecurity, right? Or, you know, her, sort of like social anxiety and sort of introversion, right? So, you know, again, didn't see convinced. She took it and went back to working on Paul. You know, I'm so goddamn grateful. I felt that jealousy slowly boiled down to anger. As I focused on my mind, the last few lines, morphing into something a little more agitated. Stop and scribble those last words out. Yeah, it's like, ah, fuck it. You know, just, you know, it's like, I'll start again. Are you okay? He didn't respond. Honestly, he didn't want to respond. Oh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have come over here. Enough to look at her. She was looking away shamefully. Let's pack tightly together. She tried not to look too sad. It's not your fault. Snap a little bit. Pull a fresh piece. Rewind the tile. Just stressed out for anything that's happening. That's all. Lied through my teeth at this time. But again, you know, it's something to wear. Because here, here's the thing what Natsuki feels is perfectly valid and perfectly fine, right? You know, in fact, it's very valid for someone like her. But again, you know, how you act on it, right? It, it's kind of what ends up determining, uh, I guess, you know, that's what determines everything and how like others will treat you. But again, the big thing there being, this is something that I really like in this kind of note of thought, I guess, from Nazi's character, isn't something that's really explored. So read a book, tea, a warm cup. She screwed her chair and stuff. I looked at her. She made her way to her tea set. Yuri, it's, I tempted to, it's too late. It's too late. It's a, you know, uh, like to see her still in deep conversation. Dude, when's the MC going to show up? Dude's like just not a part of this club anymore. You know, do you want extra sugar? I know you're in the sweets. She's in a serious tone of blank. It's like, I was honestly a bit baffled. Yeah, just a little extra, please. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Freaking, you know, was so off putting. So you don't act so kind. How last night? That might have been, that might have done something to cause her to be so kind out of the blue. And think about yesterday. You and I have been talking over things late into the night. And after some careful consideration, mainly around her need to lay down comfortably with those huge, huge dude, what? This is the second time that's been taken note of. First by Monica, now by Natsuki. Bro, she's like, don't stay, dude. I, oh my God, freaking. She, she's like, oh, I need to freaking stretch like every night. You know, she claimed the bad part of the couch for the first night. What really stuck out was that Yuri brought something up. She admitted she was incredibly nervous about people. So I agreed entirely. My own experience, people sucked a lot. I mean, because again, you know, but it's different sort of approaches kind of to uh, that, right, or from their own experiences. I guess we both have to deal with the boys trying to hit on us. Those boys, it's the MC. Oh, because you got, you know, just the two, like, opposite, like, types of people, right? You know, or I guess two opposite in terms of physical appearance, which is where we assume that that's coming from, right? Again, hit. Also, to be fair, though, like, I will say, like, hitting. I, I feel like, because this is for both boys and girls. Like, they just immediately assume people are, like, hitting or flirting with them, right? It's like, you'll receive, like, one compliment, and it's like, are they hitting or flirting with me? Like, what's going on there, right? 
like, like obviously I guess girls use the term hit more, but guys don't use the term flirting. And it's like, bro, like someone being nice to you is not the rough equivalent. But granted, if they're trying to like, you know, like riz you up or something, like, okay, different story, but watch the work way relentless for me. My eyes fall in her hand. The Grace Sweet 14, the cup she's playing with. Let's see. She spoke quietly. The co-president locked eyes with her. There's extra tea if you want it. Made some for myself and Natsuki. What about Sayori's? Hey, none for Sayori. So you're picked up two cups. She couldn't help but look up at her face curse. She was deep concentration. She was reading off one of her books. She was intense when she wants to, no matter what she's doing. We're into a little tea set, placed down the cup. What was that in front of me? The R was placed on her desk. She reclaimed her scene, took a small sip, a smile on her face. So yeah, picked up the cup and took a bit sip. The burning sensation of freshly made hot tea was being taken over from the flavor of jasmine up contained within. Still calmer, at least in my stomach. No problem, really. So she went back to her writing. Pen grace in that paper like it was nothing. So took another sip before joining her in the writing escapade. The pen movements attempted to match her. But then it's like, yeah, no, we ain't doing this. Seriously, just catch herself. Continue reading on the phone. Feeling even more confident now that eight years team in support. Felt a twinge, something go through her spine when I thought about, about your being so kind. It's just so unusual. Because again, you know, they're enlightened now. So picked up now lukewarm, took a gracious sip. I couldn't lie. It had truly refreshing taste. Dude, where the fuck is the MC? I thought she was sleeping. Where the fuck is the MC, dude? He's just not going to show up. Let's see. In something else. You begin to go. Bitch, Jesus Christ. She's like, oh, God, I'm thirsty. I'm dehydrated. Do you want my tea as well? You're giving up my joke. My face falls below. She laughs. You really need to make laugh. You know that. She looked at me and smiled again. You are easy to embarrass. My fa- got, okay, actually got her ass, though. Not even going to lie. You're, oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. You're a nerd. <laughs> Got got her ass. It, hey, really? That's the best you got, bro. Okay. To be fair though, I'm just off to his off. You're, dude. They're like, what the fuck is going on over here? And you're one too. There is. I just trapped myself here, looking away from her. Like I stunned myself. The other girls laughed a bit at us before going. Dude, where the fuck is the MC? Where is the MC, dude? Like out of the picture at this point. Like fun to poke each other. So I hope I didn't actually make you mad. Took my end response immediately. No, I'm actually kind of impressed with how it goes. Even a bit surprised by herself, she just wanted the flow. I'm glad she looked at her sock before reaching down. Watched her curiously, she pulled out her book. Please don't ask me to read them. Which <clears throat> she, she's like, bitch, I ain't reading that book. Freaking textbook looking, uh, all this kind of stuff. Dude, when is the MC gonna show up? When the fuck is he? Dude, you gotta be all right. I'm gonna end it here. I don't know if the MC's gonna show up at all, but it's already been 40 minutes. I'm dude. Literally just not a part of the game anymore. But again, I, I will say, though, I, I do like these interactions, right, between the girls, right, excluding the MC, specifically all four of them, right? It'll be interesting if we get some and kind of, you know, somewhat one-on-one. But again, it, it's something where I, I do enjoy, do find these interesting, right, you know? And again, we'll, we'll kind of see what they bring in the next one. But with that, you know, I don't really have anything else to say for this one. So, yep, yeah, so for this one, see you in the...